Uh, All right, I got. What? Hold on, wait a minute. You mean after? You mean Sunday? You no, mean? the fight is Friday. Oh, you're right. <laughs> so I have to bear the. Un- I'm so sorry, Ryan Hafey. I love you, but uh, I have to bear so- <laughs> only because I, the, my long-winded takes. I apologize. Uh, but Sean ain't got nothing, so just take it. Please bear with me. Go. Bear with me. So I have to bear some uncomfortable truths about this fight, which is, this fight is about catering to lowest common denominator energy. Jake Paul can fight a little bit. No, they can kick my ass, but he is a charlatan. You know, like he's, he's more of a snake oil salesman than he is this genuine elite athlete trying to sell you the product of championship level competition, right? So he, um, smoke and mirrors kind of thing. And the, I, to the, 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 the phrase that keeps jumping out to me about this fight is false idol worship because that's what's selling this fight. Whether the false idol you're worshiping is Jake Paul or or Mike Tyson. And what's interesting about Tyson heading into this fight is Republican, Democrat, black, white, brown, whatever, everybody wants him to knock Jake Paul out. Mm -hmm. And it's because they want to believe that their former false idol from yesteryear is more real than today's false idol. And kind of, you know, like things were just more real back then than they are now. So they want to see this kid get knocked out. But Mike Tyson has kind of been in the Jake Paul business ever since the night he bit Evander Holyfield's ear off Mm -hmm. or ear in the second fight Mm -hmm. for 27 years. He hasn't been a really a competitive heavyweight since that fight. Yeah. And so, you know, he he quit in his last fight against Kevin McBride. Like, I love Mike Tyson. He is whooped his ass. He's the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. But if he loses this fight to Jake Paul. People are going to remember his fight with Jake Paul as much or more than his fight with Trevor Burbick, knocking out Burbick in 86. So Tyson, Uh. for the money, has put himself in a situation where, like, his reputation's on the line. And if he he lets Mm. people down because everybody wants him to win, it puts an unfortunate full circle cap on his last 27 years. The heavyweight title at one point was considered the biggest prize in sports, right? And it was on a decline... For, for a long time, but you know what put the nail in the coffin in that once and for all? Iron Mike biting Evander Holyfield's ear off. Mm-hmm. And why I say this caters to the lowest common denominator, this country has such an obsession with Mike Tyson, that tells you about our morals. Because mm-hmm. if our morals were about loving the good guy, yeah. wouldn't Evander Holyfield, the guy who actually won those yeah. fights yeah. and is a God-fearing Christian yeah. and, mm-hmm. and a warrior's war, never would quit like Tyson did against... Yeah against uh, um, Lewis, or yeah. not Lewis, he didn't quit against Lewis, against McBride, McBride and, yeah. and blew his ACL against Danny Williams. Yeah. So everyone's like, oh, if it's a real fight, he's going to knock Mike Tyson out. Look, Mike, the great Mike Tyson, when last seen, was letting people down against yeah. Danny Williams and Kevin McBride. Yeah. Don't be surprised if he lets you down in this fight. Yeah. Don't be surprised if Jake Paul plays it very safe, keeps it long behind a jab, clinches for dear life, and tires him out, and then later in the fight pushes his advantages and and you got to settle for watching one of your false idols get beat by Jake Paul. Mm. So and and if that happens that's kind of a fitting ending for this 27 year odyssey since the 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 Holyfield rematch. But I'm like everyone else. I hope Iron Mike knocks Jake Paul you, out. You, you, that's what you, I hope for. You came too real for us today. Yeah, baby, we're going to end it on baby. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you came too real. Listen, I 